My name is Mike, and this is the hot seat. I'm doing another one, folks, back to back today because on the hot seat on this edition is the Obama administration rats out Israel again for the second time. For the second time regarding Iran. Last week, Leon Panetta said, oh, you know, I think Israel is going to attack Iran in the spring. Could be April, could be May, could be June. Nice. U.S. officials in the Obama administration leaked to NBC that Israel is working with an Iranian terror group to kill their nuclear scientists. Deadly attacks on Iranian nuclear scientists are being carried out by an Iranian dissident group that is financed, trained, and armed by Israel's secret service. U.S. officials tell NBC News confirming charges leveled by Iran's leaders. The group, the People's Mujahideen of Iran, has long been designated as a terrorist group by the United States. The attacks which have killed five Iranian nuclear scientists since 2007 and may have destroyed a missile research and development site have been carried out in dramatic fashion, with motorcycle-borne ass assailants often attaching small magnetic bombs to the exterior of the victims' cars. U.S. officials speaking on the condition of anonymity. Oh, wow, what a shock there. Said the Obama administration is aware of the assassination campaign but there's no direct involvement. No, just, just playing the role of rat and informant. The Iranians have no doubt who's responsible. Israel and the People's Mujahideen of Iran, known by various acronyms like MEK, MKO, PMI, AAU, whatever. The Mossad, the Israeli Secret Service, is training MEK members in Israel on the use of motorcycles and small bombs. In one case, he said, Mossad agents built a replica of a home of one of the nuclear sci uh, scientists so that uh, the group could get familiarized with the person's home uh, to do an assassination. Ali Safab Safavi, mm -hmm. a longtime representative of the MEK, underscored the denial of the publication of this article. He's quoted, there has never been and there was no MEK member in Israel, period. The MEK has categorically denied any involvement. The idea that Israel is training MEK members on its soil borders on perversity. It is absolutely and completely false. But you know what, folks? Yeah, naturally they're going to deny that, and that's okay. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. We call ourselves the protectorate of Israel, yet, yet, twice, in less than two weeks, our administration is making statements to agitate and to instigate a war with Israel and Iran. And I'm going to say it right here. It is our fault, the voter, because we put in this Muslim president named Barack Hussein Obama. And when he tells you that we're on Israel's side, his actions and the actions of his administration tell you something else. How can you possibly say that you are someone's friend and then drop dime on them twice? Now, here's a loose analogy. It's like if my best friend is growing pot in his backyard and I go and I tell the cops. I know it's a loose analogy, but you're smart. You get the gist. There is no question that Hussein Obama is inciting a war with 
Iran. Because we know Iran's mission is to wipe Israel off the planet. We know Barry. We know that you are a closet Muslim. We know that you are no Christian. We know that you hate America. We know that you hate Israel. And we know that you are so desperate to be reelected that you are going to incite a war before November to boost your ratings so you can grab that second term. You are no friend to Israel. You are no friend to Judeo-Christians. You are no friend to America. You are a destroyer. You might as well put a turban on your head. You might as well say praise Allah. And you might as well join Al-Qaeda. My name is Mike. This is the Hot Seat.